Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Denisha Lachelle and I'm back with another video y'all. So the title of this word is Breakthrough Happens As Soon As You Open Your Mouth. So Father God, I just want to thank you for this beautiful and blessed day. I pray that this word be all of you and none of me, Lord. I yield to you, speak through me, use me, Lord, so that it can touch at least one person and give them a new outlook and, and a new vision, a new destination of where they're going lord in jesus name i pray amen and amen again y'all so i got this word today as i was reading the word of god and he laid it on my heart to put this word out and this is a recorded voice memo and so i'm just gonna play it for y'all i don't i don't remember what i was speaking on in its entirety but i do know breakthrough happens as soon as you open your mouth so Breakthrough happens soon as you open your mouth. And I say that because I'm reading Jesus restores a demon possessed man. And as I'm reading this, and by the way, I'm in Luke chapter 8. He is begging to him, to Jesus, do not torture me. And Jesus asked him, what is his name? And Legion, he replied, and the revelation that I got from this is the breakthrough is happening as soon as he opened his mouth. His spirit was yearning to be set free from the demon possessed in him. The demons knew who Jesus was. That's why they begged him not to torture him or throw them into the abyss. Instead, they wanted to be thrown into pigs so they could be dead with the pigs and i saw this video of this girl she kept showing up she kept showing up for god to heal her sickness and on behalf of her showing up and having faith it first started with her opening her mouth breakthrough stars as soon as you open your mouth you have to know it by name and you have to show up and have faith Jesus calms the storms. It's easy for us to fear, even when Jesus is right there with us. It's easy for us to freak out about a bill. It's easy for us to freak out about how we're going to provide for our kids. It's easy for us to freak out about how our future is going to be. It's easy for us to freak out, but Jesus is right there with us. But we have to have faith small as a mustard seed. That's why many times when we get a word, we don't receive that word because it also says in the bible that <clears throat> the meaning of the parable the seed is the word of god those among the path are the ones who hear and then the devil comes and take away the word from their heart so they so that it may they may not believe and be saved if you go away from a word and you receive glory and amen and yet you don't see anything come to pass it's because it's having got it having to take root into your heart amen god is my helper so i've been praying jesus help me help me fast help me read your word and this is how god help us he helped us by us first showing up and having faith that he can do the impossible Amen. Breakthrough happens as soon as you open your mouth. As soon as you declare it, as soon as you speak it, it's happening. But you have to act on it. Faith without works is dead. You're praying for $20,000. You're praying for that breakthrough. That breakthrough is happening. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Faith is the evidence of things hoped for and the things seen not. We don't see the 20000 happening. All we do is, is we can hope for and we have faith that is going to happen. So one day you're walking and then you got a call. You got $5,000 on the way, period. Breakthrough has happened. Now you got to save that $5,000. It's not going to just look like God handing you a check of $20,000. It's going to look like $5,000, another $5,000, or $20,000, um, $2,000, $500, until it gets to twenty. dollars But what you do with that is you save it, and you praise God for what he's already doing because it's coming. You have to work for it. Amen. We still have to labor. We still have to labor for what God wants us to do. Amen and amen again. Well, y'all, that's pretty much it. And <clears throat> I had about 18 more seconds. And um, I was going to talk about how the lady with the issue of blood, she had an issue of blood for 12 years. And I also was going to touch on um, 
I already said that about um, Jesus being on a boat with us, yet we still feared and yet we still was scared knowing that Jesus is with us, but we don't have to fear. But the woman with the issue of blood, she had faith just by touching Jesus, she will be healed. She exhausted every other option. She exhausted every option. And I'm pretty sure she physically was exhausted from having this issue with her blood. Yet, she still showed up. And by her faith alone, Jesus healed her. So we got to rest at God's feet. And we need to be honest with God. No matter what it may seem like, be honest with God. Because honesty will take you so far. Honesty will open doors for you that keeping it in will not. You could run from everybody else, but you cannot run from God because God sees and he's all knowing. So be honest with God. That's my best advice. Be honest, show up and keep going with God. Amen. I love y'all so much. Everything you get in social media is in the description box below. Please do not hesitate to reach out. If you want to communicate and not join the community, um, email me and I will tell you a different alternative. So I love you so much. I will see you in the next video. Deuces.